Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our service of Compline for this Thursday, the 22nd of April. Our readings tonight will be from, first one is from Acts chapter 3, verses 17 to 26. And the second one is that beautiful psalm, Psalm 23. And it's Psalm 23 I should be basing my reflection upon. So let's take a moment of quiet as we offer to God the day we've had. And if you want a chance to get your Bible, to check through, to watch the, read through the reading with me and with the psalm out, I'll do so. Or even do so afterwards if you wish to do that. So let's begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end to another busy day. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. A prayer of penitence. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of this day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. And so our readings. And so the first one is from the book of Acts, chapter 3, beginning to read at the, at the 17th verse. Now, brothers, I know that you acted in ignorance as did your leaders, but this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold to all the prophets, saying that his Christ would suffer Repent then and turn to God, that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come unto the from the Lord, and that the many may stand for Christ, who has appointed you. Even Jesus, he must remain in heaven until the time comes for God to restore everything, as he promised long ago through the prophets. For Moses said, The Lord your God will raise you up uh, you raise you a prophet like me from among your own people. You must listen to everything he tells you. Anyone who does not listen to him will be completely cut off from amongst their people. Indeed, all the prophets from Samuel now, for many of their spoken, have foretold these days. And you are heirs and prophets through the current covenant of God made for you by your father Abraham. Through your offspring, all peoples on earth will be blessed. When God raised you and his servant, he sent him first to you to be blessed to be bless you and turn each of you from your wicked ways. And now the reading of the psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow you all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. For the word of the Lord in Scripture, thanks be to God. So let us pray while we come to reflect, particularly on this beautiful psalm. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I don't think there's a better example of a good shepherd 
than in this psalm. It truly is one of the most beautiful psalms in the Bible, the words of which are probably most well known. If I ask you for a show of hands, from those of you who sing the metrical version to that wonderful tune of Crimmond, I would suspect I'd probably get 100%. This is where it could be you're horribly wrong. Who loves the words of this psalm? All in favour? Those against? I doubt whether there be many hands went up again. I suspect even those with a little or no faith, or of little or no church connection, know something of this psalm. And most, I suspect, know even more now about after watching the Vicar of Dibley and the modern tune and the words that were said to it. When we look at the opening verse, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. David's thought is not just to the Lord as being the good shepherd. He goes on in the opening four verses to give us this wonderful image of our Lord watching over us, comforting us, and reassuring us all the days of our life. The reality is, though, that in times of our lives we do feel that behave, we do behave like lost sheep, wandering aimlessly, feeling vulnerable and uncertain, and even afraid. To know that the Lord is there to restore our soul and bring us the comfort and peace that we need at these times, and provide all with every need and blessing. It reinforces the intimacy and relationship we have with God through his Son, and the love that the freely pours out to us day after day. Yet despite how well we know this psalm, only often we do stop to reflect on the final two verses where the image is no longer of the shepherd and his sheep, but rather a host of his guests. We still have the same sense of an intimacy and relationship, but there we have an image of God's lavish provision for us that is clearly visible for all to see. Essentially, because God does satisfy our soul, it cannot be hidden from the world. Our very lives will bear witness to God's blessings. Indeed, even in times of adversity, the presence of the Lord, which, we, which with us, cannot be hidden. Moreover, there are these blessings that are rejoiced, not just in our days of our lives here on earth, but for all eternity. No wonder so many people take hope and comfort from this psalm, particularly at times of trouble. Amen. And so we come to our time of prayer. During our prayers, there will be short periods of silence when you can draw yourselves closer to God. Merciful God, we entrust your unfailing and tender care this night, those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to be sold and safe. Comfort and heal them, restore them to health and strength, and give them peace this night. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that when we are wearied and changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Visit our homes this night, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from us the snares of our enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessings be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Merciful Father, 
and accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now that beautiful evening collect, and if you know the words, please do join in. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Drawing all our prayers together, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And the words of the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace, according to your word. Mine eyes have seen the salvation, which you are prepared in the sight of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to reveal your glory in the world. Amen. In peace we lie down to sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And may the love of the Lord Jesus draw us to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus strengthen us in his service. May the joy of the Lord Jesus fill our hearts with joy. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Good night and thank you for listening.